am hungry, baby. I'm so excited to eat this food, y'all. Friends, welcome back to our channel where I inspire your desire to be great, to be great, to be great. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, watching another video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Hey, my name is Christina. Nice to meet you to my amazing supporters. Welcome back to another video. Before we get into it, today is Saturday, April 8th. It's currently 2.53 p.m. Y'all, and I am hungry, baby. I'm so excited to eat this food, y'all. As y'all can tell by the title of this video, it is a Jamaican food mukbang, and I have a specific hot topic y'all hot off the press that i am going to talk about and i'm gonna eat while i'm talking to y'all we're gonna catch a vibe but i'm gonna share with y'all what i'm eating so this y'all is goat head soup if you're jamaican if you're from the island some people call it manish water some of us call it goat head soup i love me some goat head soup y'all it's a 10 out of 10 if you tried it before let's talk about it in the comments do you like it do you not like it and if you've never tried it before i definitely recommend that you try it and this food y'all is from the this restaurant that I love so much. I ain't gonna say too much, but they know what it is. <laughs> But I'm just kidding y'all, but this food is from Dunn's River. So if you live in my city, make sure you go try Dunn's River food. It's a Jamaican restaurant. It's my favorite Jamaican restaurant. I don't eat from no other Jamaican restaurant. I'm not knocking them. I ain't talking bad about no other restaurants, but I'm just telling y'all what's my favorite restaurant. So if y'all wanna try some Jamaican food, try Dunn's River Jamaican food. I'ma get into my soup first. Mm. And then when I get to my plate, I'm gonna tell y'all what I'm eating. Cause I want it to be like a mukbang ASMR and a talking video. Cause I got a lot to talk about. In this soup is dumpling, goat head, like goat meat and yams, if that makes sense. Mm. This is supposed to be my bone plate too, y'all. And if y'all want to try the goat head soup, y'all have to go on a Saturday because they only serve it on Saturdays. Every day they have different soups. So my favorite one is the goat head soup. My second favorite one is the red peas soup. And that one is served on Tuesdays, if I'm not mistaken. Y'all, this is so good. I wish I could eat one of it. I got a large, you can like a really large container, but y'all see this deliciousness right here, so. Ooh, y'all, look at that. Wait, 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 I'm about to show y'all. This goat meat, y'all. Mmm, so bomb. So this is my appetizer, baby. That's my appetizer. This is my bone tray. Yeah, I'm about to tell y'all what I got. Right here, y'all see that? Woo! Mm. Y'all know I love to eat, so food gets me excited, okay? I don't know. I don't know if I'd be excited in any other video than my food videos. <laughs> okay, so here I got a beef patty. I got a whole one, but I put half on my plate because I know I'm not going to finish it. This right here, y'all, is Escovish fish. If you know me, if you watched my previous mukbangs, this is one of my favorites. So it's fried fish, y'all, with seasonings in vinegar, steamed down in vinegar, and it's so amazing. This is oxtails right here, rice and peas. This is Ocho Rios wings, and then that's a fried dumpling. Usually I get festivals, but they didn't have any festivals today, so... This is what's on the lineup, baby. All right, now that I got, well, the beef patty is like an appetizer too, so I'm about to start there and then work my way through. And for my bib, y'all, you know I always gotta have a bib, okay? I got strawberry lemonade. All right, so in this video, I'm about to give some advice to freelancers, okay? I know I have a decent fan base 
of freelancers that watches my videos, okay? And I'm saying this from a place of love. I'm saying this from a place of helping y'all because I want to help y'all, okay? I'm going to just leave it at that. And I feel like y'all need some tips. I feel like y'all need some advice. A lot of you guys reach out to me through social media. A lot of you guys reach out to me. And I'm talking like, like hundreds of you guys reach out to me through emails. Y'all reach out to me through LinkedIn. Excuse me. And y'all reach out to me through Facebook Messenger. Now, this advice that I'm giving y'all, it can apply to business owners. It can apply to upcoming entrepreneurs. But this specifically applies to my freelancers, okay? Freelancers. Especially the ones where English is not your first language. And you have to use a translator to communicate to get business that you are looking for. When you use a translator, because I know some of y'all, because when I ask y'all to meet me, online sometimes i do a zoom meeting or something like that to talk to y'all y'all tell me no because y'all not the best at english which i completely understand but if you're going to communicate and try to get business through social media be careful of the words that you use especially to the american community because when i read a lot of you guys messages you guys oversell, like y'all over market y'all products and then y'all under deliver your services as a business person a rule of thumb is always under promise and over deliver in other words don't oversell yourself don't oversell your services and under deliver them over deliver your service and undersell them and i'm gonna break it down for y'all an example of underselling your service okay now, I'm not saying don't be confident. I'm not saying don't follow up. I'm not saying don't go after people. Go after them. But how you do it is everything. Some of y'all, when y'all communicate, you downplay the customer. Because y'all have done this to me several times. And it do not make, it make me not want to work with y'all. I've told so many of y'all that I will not work with you guys. And the reason why I don't work with you guys because what y'all do is y'all take my platform, highlight the negatives of my platform and think that I'm going, the negatives on my platform is going to make me want to buy your service. That is not a marketing strategy. That does not work. And that's why you're probably struggling to get business. You cannot do that. If you are going to market something, highlight the positives of it gently uh, address the negatives and then say how you can add value to the negatives that you see there. But a lot of y'all do it the opposite way. Where y'all be like, for example, y'all, some of y'all will take like my lowest view videos and screenshot them and send them to me and be like, oh, your views on your channel is very low like that's not a marketing strategy i'm sorry it's not like it's very like the way y'all word it in y'all context and i should have screenshotted examples for this video the way y'all word it in y'all context is very rude to be honest now for y'all it might not come off as rude but there's a cultural difference and y'all gotta know if you're approaching the american community they are going to take certain things as rude and offensive. And why I'm saying it, like I said, because when you use Google Translate, you might, like I said, in your language, you're overselling. You're putting what you want to say in Google Translate and it's going to oversell in the American terms and it's going to turn people off. It's going to put people off. So I really hope you guys understand <clears throat> what I'm saying in this video. Stop overselling your services and then you have nothing to show for it. Like some of y'all be like, be reaching out to me and y'all be saying, oh, y'all got hidden tips and tricks. Like that sounds sus to us as Americans, like hidden tips and tricks, like that sounds very sus to us. It doesn't make us want to 
work with y'all. I don't know any other way to put it, but it makes us like not want to work with y'all. Cause when y'all say hidden tips and tricks, it's like, okay, it's something only you know that I cannot learn. No, another thing y'all have to do, y'all gotta remember, everybody don't want to give, like put control into someone else's hands. So another marketing strategy is tell people, hey, I will teach you how to do this. Like, and if I teach you how to do this, pay me for it. But what some of y'all want us to do is pay y'all for something that we could technically do ourselves. We just haven't figured out how to do it yet. You get what I'm trying to say? That's another thing. I need to be eating my food, but I just have so much to say about this because it's been like the last several months and I was like, you know what? A decent amount of my fan base really come from y'all and I appreciate y'all. I'm not going to say the country to be specific, but my freelancers, y'all know who y'all are. Another thing, you can't make everything about money. Like, you cannot. Some of y'all make every single thing about money and y'all lose immediately. Because, again, some of y'all be telling me y'all can help me get millions of subscribers, right? But then when I go on your Instagram, you only got 40 followers. When I go on your Facebook page, you only got 100 friends. How you going to sell me a market that you can get me 100, I mean, millions of subscribers, but you only got 100 followers? That don't make no sense. You got to have something to show for it. You get what I'm trying to say? For example, one guy, he reached out to me and he's like, hey, I can help you build your social media platforms and increase, you know, your views, your subscribers, all of that, right? He got 10K uh, followers on Instagram. He took one of my videos and, and, and posted it on his Instagram for free. And that video hit over a thousand views. That's what a freelancer does. You have to be willing partially to work for free, to put out some work for free and then charge. You get what I'm trying to say? You have to be able to show your work and prove your work, not just like talking and not just overselling. So that's just my some tips and some advice to my people that are freelancers, to my people that are entrepreneur. And be honest, like the thing you gotta know about people, they could feel like people could feel when it's like, okay, something not right about this or right about this person. People could feel that you don't really care about them, that you really just trying to go after them for money and not for the value you can necessarily add to them. And I actually do have an example of like someone that reached out to me and I was like, that, like the way he communicated, I was like, I would, excuse me. I said, I would love to work with somebody like that because the way he took time, he researched my channel, he watched my videos, he paid attention. He like he the way he marketed himself through emailing me, I was like, damn, I will work with him. He's an editor. And I've had other people that are editors reach out to me. But as I said, for example, one of them when I'm like, okay, I want to meet you because I just don't work with people. I just don't work with anybody. Like you gotta show me what you can bring to the table. Again, like I said, because everybody just oversell themselves continually, but they don't have nothing to really show for it. So I'm gonna see if I can find the email. I know I got it favorited, y'all, but it was so like inspiring. Okay, so this pretty much is the email that he sent to me. And he, the thing that I love, right, towards the end of the letter, he said, I am confident that my skills in video editing and graphic design can help you elevate the quality of your content, engage your audience, and reach a wider audience. I'm excited about the prospect of collaborating with you on this journey and positive, positively impacting millions of people's lives. So in other words, y'all know, that's my mission like it's to positively impact people's lives their futures and to just inspire everybody to be the greatest version of themselves like 
This, even in the introduction, he said, I hope this message finds you in good health and spirits. I came across your YouTube channel, Moral Motivation, and I was deeply impressed with your mission to positively impact people's lives and inspire them to be their best self. In other words, that tells me he catches my vision. You get what I'm trying to say? He's not just like, oh, let me just edit your videos, make a few bands and that's it. No, like he's in alignment with what I want to do and with what I want to become as, as far as my channel is concerned. So when you are going after people to, you know, help them with their YouTube channel, whether it's doing SEO or doing graphic design for them, it's very important how you market yourself to them. And a marketing strategy is not downplaying somebody's effort. It's not like I've been having people and especially guys like it's predominantly guys and it's just like i mean it taught me and it helped me to be stronger and to be more assertive but it's like it's mainly the guys like y'all like y'all y'all oversell again y'all services one Two, y'all downplay like somebody's effort. Like y'all would be like, oh, I don't see any growth on your channel or whoever you're currently working with. Like they're doing it wrong or this and this and this. And it's just like, what that got to do with you? You get what I'm trying to say? And how can you argue with somebody that you don't see progress on their channel? You don't know where my channel was before I started working with other people to help my channel grow. So how can you sit here in my DMs and tell me and you expect me to give you business. Like that's not gonna make me wanna give you business. I'm sorry, it won't. I mean, another guy I had to tell him like, cause I don't remember what he was saying, but I had to tell him like, I get you being aggressive and there's nothing wrong with being aggressive when it comes to business. But if somebody tells you no, don't come back be in the, from the same angle and expect them to tell you yes. There's more than one way to approach a situation. And some of y'all, like, y'all reach out to me and I be like, no, thank you. And then y'all come back and y'all ask me the same thing like three days later. And I be telling y'all, what did I say to you the last time that you asked me? No. So it's still a no. But all I'm trying to say is be more professional. Change the language y'all are using. Improve the approach that y'all are using because... Mm -mm. It's just, it's just not a good thing. It doesn't look good. It really doesn't. There's a lot more I could say, but I'm not gonna say too much more. But for my freelancers, I respect y'all hustle. I respect y'all going after what y'all want and stuff like that. But there's a better way to do business, like. I don't know if y'all need to take like a marketing course or y'all mentors just need to do better mentoring y'all, but y'all got to do better. Like y'all really have to do better. Stop overselling and just give people time. Like give people time, give people time. Don't constantly be in somebody's face with stuff. And just stop making everything about money. Like the big, that's a, the biggest turnoff for me. It's like people that just make everything about money. Like, especially those free, especially freelancers. You cannot make everything about money. Another suggestion I could give y'all, even if somebody don't have money to pay y'all right then and there, there's other ways that they could pay y'all. They could give you a referral. They could shoot a video for you referring you. And someone else might, you know, they'll help you get other customers and clients that way that can make up for what they should be giving you. So there are so many ways around it, which y'all just got to think bigger. And honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, there's several of y'all that I have met with from this one specific agency. And I'm gonna actually see if I could reach out to the CEO of that agency and just tell him like respectfully to just train his people better. A part of me honestly too feel like he's all about money. Like, and so it trickles down to like his, how you call it? Which, what would you call his freelancers, if that makes sense? But 
I just feel like he should do a better job teaching them and training them because he would definitely be a lot further for sure. Yeah, like communication is just a big piece. That's what I'm getting at. Communication is a big piece. So yeah, but to my freelancers too, I wish y'all all the best. You know, I see y'all hustling. I see y'all grinding. I be seeing y'all in my DMs. Like I said, I can't respond to everybody. As I told y'all, I mean, I get so many like DMs. I mean, I don't really want to like put nobody names out there, but um, y'all can see, I get so many messages like when it comes to this stuff, especially through LinkedIn, through Facebook, I get like DMs, like it's, it's crazy. So, I mean, I had one guy, <laughs> it was crazy. He messaged me like 27 times. And I said, that is crazy. Like, how are you gonna message me 27 times? And what made me upset, I was like, okay, he hungry. Like, he motivated, he's aggressive. And then what made me upset was when I said, can I meet with you on Zoom? He told me, I'm ignorant, my English is not good, so I can't meet with you on Zoom. And I was just like, look, if I can't communicate with you, I can't work with you. I can't, cause then how am I gonna tell you what I need? You get what I'm trying to say? So to my freelancers, these are my hidden tips and tricks to y'all to improve how y'all do business. One, don't make everything about money. Don't. Cause then if you get caught up in the money, you not going to put in the right amount of effort, if that makes sense. You just not. Two, stop overselling. Like, people aren't dumb. I, at least I can speak for myself. I'm not dumb. You can't tell me that you're going to get me millions of views and subscribers. And you only even got a thousand Facebook friends or a thousand LinkedIn connections or a thousand Instagram followers. Like you can't, I'm sorry, you just can't. A marketing strategy would be get the work done first, build the following for yourself first, and then go from there. Another thing, don't just sell you doing the service, sell teaching the service as well. Cause everybody don't trust somebody to take over something that they could do for themselves. That's why there's marketing courses. Cause everybody don't want to hire somebody to market a course. Some people rather just pay a one-time fee to learn how to market and market themselves. So another advice, start charging people, start offering as an additional service. I will teach you how to SEO your videos. I will teach you how to market your videos. I will teach you how to X, Y, Z when it comes to your videos and you pay me a one-time fee agreement on the service rather than you having to do it over and over again. That's another way to leverage. So I hope this helps y'all out. Like I said, this doesn't have to just be to freelancers, but to my entrepreneurs, to my business owners, like under promise, over deliver, period. Stop overselling, stop over hyping, because then you're going to lose lifetime business if you, if people find out you cap, if people find out you fake, if people find out that you exaggerate him, you're going to lose business. For real. And to the freelancers too, that taught me game, like when I say taught me game and didn't charge me nothing, I appreciate y'all, like for real. I appreciate y'all. I really do. There's some of y'all, I just, I told y'all for real, like it's not in my budget to pay you to work for me, 
but can you teach me? And some of y'all said yes, and y'all taught me. And I appreciate y'all for that. So that's my advice and I hope it helps. I don't know, maybe I should take on y'all as some of my clients and teach y'all business etiquette. <laughs> Freelancer etiquette. I don't know. Maybe I should do that. I'm recruiting. So if you want to be mentored by me on how to do business a certain way or improve in business, we could talk about it. For real, for real, we could talk about it. We could really talk about it. I'm slowly getting full. That's the main thing I wanted to talk about, though. But to the people that watches my videos, that supports my new subscribers, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And the people, cause y'all know, y'all. a lot of y'all isn't from this one country that watches my videos. And I keep saying I'm gonna come there one of these days. And I am, I think I will. I would love to do like, a, Freelancer one on one with y'all and let y'all pay to see me respectfully. So I'm getting full, y'all. Another tip that I could add is don't just highlight the failures again of someone or the negatives of someone, highlight the positives and just say, I would love to help you continue getting results like this positive. You get what I'm trying to say? I would be more motivated to work with somebody like that than somebody that dwells on my negative because if you gain me off of highlighting my negativity, you're gonna lose me off of highlighting my negativity. But if you highlight my positivity, you will keep me based on highlighting my positivity. I'm gonna say that one more time. If you gain me as a client by highlighting my negativity, you will lose me as a client by focusing on my negativity. If you gain me as a client by focusing on my positivity, by highlighting my positivity, you will gain you will keep me as a client for highlighting my positivity. So one of the best marketing strategies I could tell y'all Highlight people's positivity. There's enough negativity in the world. Most people are conscious, are self-conscious of the negativity. So if you can reinforce their positivity, people will want to keep you around more because you reinforce their positivity. Not that you ignore the negativity or you don't speak on it, but you can win someone better by highlighting the positive than highlighting the negative. So I hope this video helped y'all out. I really hope it did. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'm gonna finish this fish, but I don't think I'm gonna finish that piece of chicken or this dumpling. Y'all, I'm getting sleepy now too. Y'all eat fish eyes? I think I talked about this in one video. I do. <laughs> so, one of my aunts is funny, y'all. I asked her, I said, Auntie, you eat fish eyes? So y'all know I'm Jamaican. So she said, when, when may I name fish eye for? 
Me have two yeah, yeah ready. When we need Finny and Finny more. <laughs> So I'm going to translate <clears throat> in case you're not Jamaican. She basically said she already have two eyes. Why do she need to eat the fish's eye? <laughs> All right, y'all, I am done. I missed doing mukbangs. So I had to get one on the board for y'all. Cheers to another mukbang video. I love y'all so much. Another thing I'm gonna start doing soon is in my mukbang videos, whatever food I have or type of food I eat, or you don't even have to be specific to that food, I'm going to do a giveaway with like a gift card to that place or to whatever restaurant y'all want food from. But y'all know the vibe. Y'all got to be commenting below on these videos and I will pick like random winners from each video. So I made an announcement like way, way back. I would say like a few months ago about doing giveaways on my channel. So I'm finally gonna start. I appreciate y'all for watching this video. Just start commenting more on these videos, interacting more. Cause if y'all don't comment, y'all can't enter the giveaway. So, but if y'all comment and pretty much let me know that y'all watched this video, then cool. And if you watch this video, like for example, like this video, if if enough people comment, I will do a giveaway for this video. Basically comment like at least one advice that I gave to the freelancers. That way y'all know, that way I know that y'all watched this video and y'all paid attention. So just comment below at least one advice and I'll let you answer for a giveaway. And I'll do a giveaway of like a gift card to whatever restaurant y'all wanna eat at. I do have international supporters as well. So I'ma have to find an alternative to give away to them because I don't want them to feel left out. So I might, as my channel grow, I'm not gonna speak too soon, but as my channel grow, like one thing I would do is probably give away like some technology, some device or something like that and just mail it to them in whatever country they are in because I do have international supporters and I don't want y'all to feel left out. So comment below as well, even if you are international and I will see what I can do. I'll find a way to do giveaways to my international supporters because I love y'all, y'all are important too and y'all count. So that's pretty much all I have for y'all. Thank y'all for watching this video. Stay tuned for more mukbangs. Comment below what foods y'all think I should try as well or what other foods y'all would like to see me do a mukbang on. And that's pretty much it. I'ma see y'all in the next video where I inspire your desire to be great, to be great, to be great. Bye.